Hello and welcome to Kerala Gram Market, our daily show on Nifty, Bank Nifty and Dollar Analysis. Uh, today, let's jump right into the chart and look at what we predicted yesterday. Yesterday, we, yesterday as in the last week, uh, also this is not 4th Feb, this is 6th Feb. Um, so, last time we said that um, it's a decent buying zone if it goes anywhere near 17300. Uh, but 17300 can be broken. But if we get uh, anywhere near 17300, bull call spreads or put spreads can be a good thing. We also talked, said that if an intraday base is getting formed, it might not be a bad idea to initiate buy trades. Why? <laughs> because we saw this chart, right? Why? This chart connects the low of, and uh, thanks to Srikanth again for our, uh, that analysis. Uh, Srikanth, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have made money thanks to you. Um, I did, in case you're watching this. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry, I didn't trade. <laughs> <laughs> but in a hypothetical world that if I did take a trade, I might have made money. So, uh, uh, so this is a low, this is a low, this is a third low and this third low coincides with the weekly 50 DMA. <coughs> it also co goes very close to the daily 200 MA, <coughs> right? So that's our first thing. Uh, Bank Nifty was a little bit more tricky than that, but we did see a base getting formed here with a lot of volumes. Uh, and finally, dollar, we said that this line, right, which is running here, trend line, is the upper upper band of dollar. Um, I did short before this, so didn't go well for me. So now I'm running a loss on a, a bear call spread. Uh, but it's okay. It's uh, end of February. We'll see what happens, right? So chart-wise, Nifty looks like it has taken a support, but we have to be careful. There's a 100-day moving average at 18,000. Also at 18,000, we saw a lot of base getting formed the last time we had a visit here but i won't be surprised if 18000 breaks right short wise similarly bank nifty has a resistance here of um, 41500 types it can go all the way to this low uh, this previous high which is around 41800 to 900 41850 ish levels it can go so nifty take took support but there are some resistances now especially the 100 dma bank nifty some resistances here especially the 100 dma and the 41800 ka previous all time high uh, open interest charts also are in concurrence they say that 18000 can be a resistance here overall uh, but if you look at daily action the momentum is with bulls lot of puts written 17700 seems to be a base you can see it here also 700 600 both are bases but 18,000 is resistance. PCR is 1.1, which is very high, which is very strong. Um, and if you look at F, uh, FIA, so before that, right, uh, the weekly chart of Nifty is also indicating strength because this is a very strong candle with a lot of volume, right? So this week's candle is the biggest candle after March 2022, right? It's a very big green candle, egg them solid. Same goes for Bank Nifty weekly candle also. Very solid chart. Both of them are also bullish piercing candles with very strong volumes, right? So, um, Nifty looks bullish on daily and weekly time frame. Bank Nifty looks bullish on weekly and time, daily time frame. But 18,000 can be a support. Maybe it will get broken. We don't know. Will it get broken this week? We don't know. But right now, I don't think it's a good idea to short Nifty. For the simple reason that on weekly time frame it is showing massive strength right uh, same goes for this one also now open interest chart suggests that 80,000 can play as a resistance 70,000 is definitely a support FII data interesting stuff 20k call sold 1.5 l put sold net bullish futures data 2000 crores bought net bullish right this is bullish Stock data 900 crore sold, that is bearish, but overall, right, I mean, let me just, uh, uh, let me just uh, summarize it, right. So daily candle positive, weekly candle positive, some small resistance at 100 EMA, bank nifty daily candle positive, weekly candle positive, some resistance at 100 EMA, option chain wise 7700 support, 18,000 resistance, PCR is 1.1 which is bullish, FI data, option data is bullish, futures data is bullish. Um, See, everything is bullish, so you should not short here, right? Do not short here unless there is a reversal action. 
<coughs> right so if you are long that is if you did some bull call spreads or bull put spreads from last week you can hold them for sure right but entering here is very tricky i would love to buy at lower levels uh, or buy on dips i would never short here because weekly candle is super strength super strong so that that my verdict is there are some resistances here but it's tricky to buy um therefore it is tricky to buy i mean to say let me just correct that therefore tricky to buy will have to buy at lower levels or buy on dips do not short here unless there is a reversal action right and trades if there is no reversal right i would love to play bull call spreads or bull put spreads at 18000 if there is reversal action then bear call spreads so basically right it depends on the level 18000 might look like a but i would recommend this 18000 short simply because at a so if you look at two time frames right shorter and longer the longer time frame is the weekly and weekly is phenomenally strong right like i can't reiterate that it's a very very strong candle with a lot of volumes and there's a very high probability that this can continue without pause right see sometimes you get a second entry and it goes up but look at this right for example this low like the previous ukraine low right that weekly candle was never revisited it came down there was a weekly candle and then it just went to 18000 uh, gave a dip but you know largely it formed a new all time high my my point here is that see very big supports might not give you a second chance to enter if you get it great but or, or look at it right the last time it visited this trend line there was a reversal candle here sort of but then it didn't that one week it was a great chance to enter here and then it just went up right similarly during ukraine crisis there was a good chance to enter here after that it just went up now will this be one of those or will it give you a second chance we don't know yet but in any case i wouldn't want to short this for the simple reason that the weekly candle is stronger with a lot of volumes right you can't bet against bigger time frame candles with such kind of volumes normally it doesn't end well so although i would be very tempted to do a very nimble quick in and out trade for 18000 if there is a reversal action i don't think it's a good idea simply because the larger time frame market is still looking positive so you know just for effect we added this we removed this and i'm going to emphasize that don't short at this level simply because this looks like it is one of those lows which will create a new bull rally triggered because why multiple supports the trend line which is this ascending trend line this descending trend line this 50 weekly moving average this very strong bullish piercing candle on daily time frame this very um, uh, strong 200 dma almost and this uh, horizontal gap right look at the number of supports here right this gap this 200 dma this descending trend line this ascending trend line the 50 weekly moving average the bullish piercing candle i mean there are so many reasons to buy here right so if i get any kind of dips i'll buy into it i would not even want to think of shorting this market because of the sheer strength it is displaying from a pure candlesticks point of view yes i agree that there is going to be some open interest resistance here but uh but i'd rather you know maybe yes you can play some nimble in and out at 18000 do a call spread or something quickly get in get out but why always play the larger trend and the larger trend without doubt is bullish right so that is our analysis for today we'll see you again uh, uh tomorrow uh, this is a recorded session because there's something wrong with our streaming servers right now so which is why i can I, i won't be able to take any comments from users so this is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow so till we meet again uh, please uh, 
ട്രേഡ് സേഫ്ലി ട്രേഡ് വിത്ത് റിസ്ക് മാനേജ്മെന്റ് ട്രേഡ് വിത്ത് ഡിസിപ്ലിൻ ട്രേഡ് വിത്ത് റൈറ്റ് ബെറ്റ് സൈസിംഗ് ആൻഡ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ്ലി ടേക്ക് കെയർ 